everyone, it's Sammy from Scrapmasters Paradise and I am going to be doing a review of the Epson Picture Made PM400. So this is a printer that does three and a half by five, four by six and five by seven. So when I wanna do my project life pictures, I can make collages onto the four by six photos. It gives me the option of changing the paper. So I really, really like this printer. It's nice and compact. It sits right on my scrapbook table and you can see it, it can close up to be really nice and compact when it's not in use. I just leave it set up all the time so that I can print whenever I want. And I print wirelessly through my Wi-Fi on my iPhone. So I don't I don't need extra cords or anything, but you certainly can print via an, via an SD card here on the side. It's got a little spot for that. Or you can hook it up to your computer and print directly from your computer. It's got a little um, USB connector thing over on the side here. So I just use my phone. I've had the Epson PictureMate charm in the past and it didn't really work for me because I couldn't print directly from my phone using it and I really needed one that I would print directly from my phone and I really liked this one in particular because it also would print the 5x7. One of the questions I've had was does it print true 4x6 and the answer is yes. Um, you buy the 4x6 photo paper and you print directly on that. The selfie prints a little bit smaller than 4x6 so I know a lot of people have problems with that and I didn't even consider that because of the size difference. Um, so I really like that it printed true 4x6 and also will print the 5x7. Now I really liked my Epson PictureMate charm for the quality and this is the same really high quality photo prints. We're going to do a little demonstration here in a minute, but I wanted to walk you through a little bit of the printer itself. So it's got the little thing you can leave out to catch the paper. And here's the screen. The screen's nice because you can tilt it up. So I'm going to leave it flat so you guys can see it a little bit better. And again, I've got to confirm the paper. It gives you the option of putting in what kind of paper you want. It does connect to the Wi-Fi, so it's got the Wi-Fi set up. And it gives you, you know, all the options on your screen that you're going to need to print directly um, from the SD card. But for my demonstration purposes, I'm going to be printing from my phone here. So I use the Epson Print app. You can just download that from the store. And these are actually the apps that I use for my project life and photo printing. I have the Collect app, the Pick Frame app. I've done reviews and walkthroughs of both of those. And the Little Moments app and the Epson Print app. That covers pretty much everything that I want to do as far as my photos and printing. I try to do it all from my phone. I do have Photoshop and things that I can use on my computer, but I find that if I'm going to get things printed in a reasonable amount of time, I just have to do it from my phone. Um, so that's what I have stuck with. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open up this Epson print and we're going to print a photo here. So I just go straight to photos and then it pulls up, you know, all my albums and things. So I'm just going to go to recently added. Here is Olivia and her daddy spinning. I did not print those. So these are the photos that I made using the pick frame and the little moments app. They all have writing on them and I've already printed all of those except some of these twirling photos with Olivia. I thought about doing a, um, I thought about doing a traditional page with these. So I will grab a couple of these to print. So it just has a little check mark box where you are printing. On here you can print up to 30 photos at a time. So I'm just doing two and I'm going to next and it will show you the photos on the screen. So it loads them and I have the borders on. You can see there's a white border around the photos. I do have the borders on but you can go under settings here and it says layout and you can pick borderless or different kinds of borders. I just do the regular borders. So back, and I already have my paper picked as the Premium Photo Glossy Paper, and I actually have been using this, the HP Everyday Photo Paper. I get this on Amazon for, I think, $6.99. Um, so I really liked that paper. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Done, and you don't have to mess with those settings automatically. They'll be saved for you from your last print, so you don't really have to go in there every time. I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and print these. And it goes ahead and turns everything on so I can go ahead and print. It automatically turns itself on and off. So if I want to print and I haven't printed in a while, it's just already going to be ready to print. And the printing itself is actually really fast, I feel like. I'm going to leave this in real time for you guys so you guys can see how fast it prints.
and that one's done. So of course it's gonna be wet. You don't wanna touch it while it's still wet. I give it a second. They do say it's fast drying ink, so I think you probably could touch it, but I choose not to. So the coloring is pretty true for what the color was. Um, it's in the evening, so the color is kind of yellowish kind of yellowish and pinkish, but that is okay. You know, you could color correct it if you really want to, but I think it's fine. So going back to here, um, it does have the option to do some color correcting. Um, it does an auto correct. And I found when that was on, some of my pictures would turn out really weird. So I went ahead and turned it off. So that's always just turned off for me. So as you can see, it just printed those two photos really quickly. It was like a minute for both of those photos to be printed. And again, the color quality looks good. The skin tones, I think, look really good. I'd say the print quality is pretty close to what I have gotten from uh, places like Costco and Walgreens. It's probably not the best print quality that you could possibly get if you were to go to a professional lab, but it's definitely good enough that I really can't tell the difference between this and you know the other prints. Um, sometimes, I don't know if this one was like that, to see sometimes if the paper is not tight aligned in here you got to make sure it's nice and um, firm in the alignment sometimes i will get a border that's a little bit crooked and i think that this one is a little bit crooked i feel like this side is a little bit thicker than um, the part right here so it did turn out a tiny bit crooked but i have gotten that at costco a lot of times too it's really a matter of trial and error and trying to keep your paper aligned straight in here and for something like that, I would just keep that because it's not super duper noticeable, but I can tell. So I'm pretty happy with it. Now, as far as the cost, I actually lost track of the count. So I was at about 125 prints from one print cartridge. I don't have a print cartridge handy, but it has a specific print cartridge just for the PictureMate PN400. I will link to it in the description box down below. And the print cartridge on Amazon right now is about 31 or $32. And I got over 125 prints. I lost track at 125. I think it was more like 150. We're talking, this is about $7 for 100 pieces of paper. We're also talking $32 for the ink cartridge. Of course, you can totally print way cheaper by going to someplace like Walgreens and Costco, waiting for the online deals at Snapfish, things like that. But for me, the price difference is worth its weight in gold because I can print right at home and it's made my scrapbooking process so much more streamlined. So this is twofold for me. Just going out of the house anywhere in Austin is not quick. So even if I'm just running to the corner store, picking up things at Walgreens, it's still gonna take me 20 minutes to go anywhere pretty much because the traffic here is insane. So that's one deterrent for me for printing things. And another thing is I've got a toddler, so I can't just, you know, pop in and out super quickly of any place, even if it was close by. So I decided to just make the investment, buy the printer and print it home, even though it is a little bit more expensive. I find that the time savings and the convenience of just being able to print it on my phone and be able to scrapbook directly is totally worth it for me. So um, I know it's not gonna be in everybody's budget, but it definitely is a priority in my scrapbook budget. So I made it work. I feel like the price is really good for what you get. I feel like the quality is really good. So I was gonna do my pricing off of 150 prints per ink cartridge, and that would be two packs of the paper. So I'm gonna say the packs of paper are $8, just for math's sake, $8 for the full pack, plus $4 for the half pack, that would be $12 for that. And we'll say the ink cartridge is $32. So we're looking at $44 per, um, per 150 prints. So I actually did my math wrong. So I do the 44 divided by the 150. There we go. <laughs> so let's do that. So we've got the price per print. So you're left with about 29 cents a print. I don't think that's an outrageous price, although you could definitely find a cheaper price. And then when you throw in the cost of the printer, which I think this one, let's look how much this one is. It has the printer at $199.99, and that sounds about what I've paid for it. $200 for the printer itself. And one thing that I do like is the ink cartridge and the paper are separate. So, you know, you're not going to run out of ink before you run out of paper. You're not going to run out of paper before you run out of ink. You just, you know, purchase each one as needed, which I'm happy with. And that was another reason why I liked this printer. 
So overall, this has been a total game changer for me as far as getting my scrapbooking done because even when I was using Costco, I couldn't print directly from my phone. I could only do that from my computer. So I was still having to use my computer as an extra step and it just made it too, it made it too many steps for me to just easily seamlessly do. And so this has made it so that I can just get my photos printed. For my example, I'm doing Project Life Sunday through Saturday. So Saturday night after Olivia went to bed, I got all my photos edited and printed and I made my Project Life spread that same night. And I could never have done that if um, I had to print somewhere else, especially if you do mail-in printing, it takes a lot of time to get your prints. I'm just super excited to be able to print my photos and scrapbook as soon as possible. And it's really just changed things and made things more convenient for me. So I will link to the printer, the paper that I have found that I really like, and the ink cartridge that goes with this printer. They're all on Amazon. I've been purchasing all through Amazon. Uh, I will link to all of those in the description box down below if you want to check them out. I could not be happier with this particular setup. Now there's one little quirk with this printer that I don't really even notice anymore, but it does have a low level humming noise. And I'm gonna be really quiet. I'm gonna hold the printer up and maybe the camera will pick up on it, but it just has this little humming sound. So anyway, I don't know if you guys could even hear it, but it does have this little low level hum. And when we first got the printer, I have it set up on my desk and I would be in here and I'm like, what is that noise? What is that noise? And it kind of drove me crazy until I figured out it was the printer itself. So when I unplug it, the noise goes away. When I plug it back in, I can hear the noise. So I don't know if it's a quirk of my particular Epson, but I just want to warn you guys, it might just be how the printer is done. It might just have that little low level humming noise. I've gotten used to it over time. I don't even hear it unless I'm really like thinking about it. Like right now I can hear it because I just was telling you guys about it. But other than that, I don't know what else to tell you guys about the printer. I'm just so in love with it. I'm so glad that I got it. I know you guys have been asking for this review for a long time and I would say if you have it in your budget, get it. It's a game changer and I'm really just so happy with the quality. I'm so happy with the app. It's super easy to use. My next video like this, that's gonna be like a review type of thing is I'm gonna go over that Little Moments app. It's a really nice app. So I will be doing that video for you guys probably next week. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Give me a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.